you up. You ready to kill? Always. Ready? I'm waiting on you. Let's go then. Opening morning. It's a little after five o'clock. We just got up here at camp and talking quiet because we got these birds roosted within a couple hundred yards of camp. So Ted's grabbing some cliff bars and we're gonna head up this big ridge behind us, try to get up in there before they start gobbling. We should be in a pretty good spot to be above at least a couple of turkeys. It's nice and clear this morning. I can see the stars up there. There's no wind whatsoever, so they ought to be gobbling. Just over there, right over there. He's not very far. No. He's just right there. Two in there and there is a yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. One's closer. Right over the top. See that big tree right there? And they're down this way. Yeah, and there's two more gobblers behind us. I mean this would put us right in between several. Yeah, I think this side right here. Yeah, let's just get a setup down there. I think that big tree be good for y'all. Yeah. this little knob. I'm just afraid they're going to go to that high point. We just got in here where we heard that bird gobbling last night. And it sounds like there's two of them up in here. Right over this next high point that's in front of us. They're not very far and there's a ton of turkeys gobbling. There's two there. Two or three back this way. One or two back that way. So one or two up that way. One or two up that way. So we got turkeys all around us, and they're all gobbling a lot, so I'm just kind of right in the middle of them, but close to these two. Hopefully we will call one up to us here. I forgot my hat this morning. So, so you're not going to be, be able to hear anything. Yeah, no. He's out in front of Ted and Jake have went quiet. I can hear hens yelping over there every once in a while. But we still got two or three more back behind me here that are gobbling. One of them sounds like he's getting closer to us. He's down and across a big holler, but he's definitely getting closer. I've been answering him real aggressively most times when he gobbles with some loud cutting and yelping and stuff. be surprised if he comes up here. He's hammering right there. Can I move? You want to get back over here and shoot this thing? Because he's going to come up here. We're going to switch places so Ted can shoot this thing if he comes up this ridge. Thank you. 
couldn't hear him walking. Jim Drummond but couldn't hear him walking. So he popped over and begged us, and I was gonna try and swing over, but I didn't want to until, you know, we relaxed or something. And then I moved, tried to move a little bit, and he took off. Dang it. Did you ever see him? No, I just, it's when he gobbled, I just froze. We could hear him drumming, but we couldn't tell exactly where. Yeah. How far was he? 20 yards, 20. 15 yards. I hate it when I get away, but what do you do? Yeah, I mean, it's a pretty good setup, really. The turkey that was gobbling came right down and across the holler and straight up here to us. I thought we would have been hit good enough, but apparently not. He popped up and saw the boys and took off. I hate it when they get away, but it happens. So, we must press on. Before Ted's going, isn't he? Turn more to the left, Ted, and go straight at him. There he is. He's facing us. Full strut on that ridge. He's facing right at us. a little bit, Ted. Keep going, Ted. Keep going. Go fast for a second till I tell you to stop. Keep going. Stop, Ted. He walked away for sure. He's still gobbling. 
We're almost right up here to where he was spending all that time strutting. Did you see him back then when y'all were closest to him? Mm -hmm. He could. He saw his head pop over once. Y'all just couldn't ever see him? I never saw him. He popped his head up, up from behind a tree a couple times and strutted. But he was lower than I was. By the time I stood up, he must have started working away or whatever. Oh, dang. Looks like I belong in Call of Duty with all this stuff on my gun. Middle part of the day, and we're about to head back to camp. That turkey just gobbled and gobbled and gobbled and eventually walked away. We've had our butts thirdly handed to us this morning so far. Been on this little bitty flat ridge up here since daylight. Called in two different long beards. Nothing doing. Got close. Sometimes that's how it works. Just gotta keep going. Wait for the right opportunity here. I never thought in a million years that would be a setup we get busted in. Well, what'd you do differently then? What was, what was the mistake? I must have had to, should have had a better setup. I guess. Hopefully, you know he's coming. I guess me. I've been turned that I don't way. Know. If I'd have been even pointed to the right a little bit more, I could have just smoked. But I was pointed too far to the left. Thing I wasn't even thinking about him. Basically. Sometimes they just get away, and that's just part of it. Well, guys, it's about 12:30. We just ran back to camp, got something to eat, licked our wounds a little bit, and now we're headed back to the boat to try to go prospecting for the afternoon. Might even try to catch a couple smallmouth, too. <laughs> I want to take a dip in this stuff so bad. Just need to hit the reset button, get a nice ice bath. Well, as y'all could tell from the footage this morning, there's plenty of turkeys in Tennessee. Things just didn't work out for us. But if you want to learn more about hunting turkeys in Tennessee, just click the link in the description below. We'll put one down there. We're going to go try to find one, though. Lord just said that's, that's where they're at, Jake, right off of those points. Watch out. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Watch out, Jake. Jake, watch your feet. Who's the captain of this thing? What do you think about that, Ted? That's a big in there. Shut up. But you never know when they blow up. Number nine's to the face and he don't know what he's kissing. What are you doing? I'm gonna bathe. Watch out. Just trying to turkey on out here. See you, Jake. Filming you? No. I'm the cameraman here. Keep walking.
about 6 o'clock right now. It gets dark at 7.30, I believe. Just got back closer to camp where we were hunting this morning. During the middle part of the day, we went around the lake, checked out some spots, caught some fish. No dice, really, so there's a turtle. So now we're back right around where we were hunting this morning. It's actually right up there. We're just gonna work our way back towards camp, get up on a ridge and listen, hopefully get something roosted or kill something tonight. Jake, Aaron and I just got up here to this high point. Camp's right down below us here. And then where we were hunting was just up on the other side. There was birds roosted up here this morning. Hoping something comes through or we hear something fly up. Aaron just heard one fly up. We did. Right up there. Gonna have to draw up a plan for tomorrow. Plenty of turkeys down here. The challenge that we are running into and are going to continue running into on this trip is property lines. Several times this morning we had turkeys gobbling across the property and we actually called them across the line to public. Let's go eat. Let's go eat. Yeah. Down the steep hill we go. Fresh Alabama turkey, then potatoes, onions, garlic, peas, and peppers. Sweet! I'm gonna eat a lot of this, Gregory. That's the idea. And the leftovers. And then I'm going to go to sleep. It's gonna be great. Good job on the fireplace, Ted. Yeah. That's really good, Ted. For the people that ask, are you filming, Greg? Of course you are, you always are. <laughs> what we do with all the turkeys that we shoot. This is the last one I shot. I think we shot, what, nine or 10 total now? Mm -hmm. They're all gone. They're all, have been eaten. We pretty much eat them as fast as we. Pretty much a day of, usually. Yeah. You know, turkeys don't last very long. Deer last a while. Yeah. We usually don't run on deer until almost deer season. But with turkey, usually it's the group, and I mean, that's, what, five deer. We can eat a full turkey, no problem. Yeah. He's coming this way. Mm -hmm. 